What internet marketing expert should you spend your valuable time listening to? Listen to someone who has over 20 years of web marketing experience and hundreds of website marketing success stories. That man is Aaron Sparks from Site Strategics. And this is Edge of the Web Radio. Five tactics to in, in, to ignite your email list growth. Let's talk about it real quick. This is an article from Clicks from Mike, Mike Hotz over there. Uh, we really appreciate that information. It's a great article. Okay, so the, the deal is is that in, back in January, there was a lot of email marketers that wanted to increase, increase their lists, and, and that was their top goal for 2013. Well, spring's here, and is your mailing list actually growing? Well, Ours is. Yeah, yeah. well. I actually kind of like that word, increased. Increased, yep. There it is. <laughs> uh, well, many marketers have email lists that uh, email addresses for only about 30% of their customers. Ooh. Yeah, and so they're tempted to revert to the direct mail experience and reach for, you know, a quick fix like email appends or, or e-appends and list rentals and purchases. Well, that's not logical at all. <sighs> <laughs> we know that can go, take you down a, a pretty nasty rabbit hole there. Uh, well, it can. And, and, and we know that from experience. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's some here's some quick tips uh, to be able to uh, to jump through. Number one, here, make it easy to opt in to your email list on your website. Absolutely. Pop-ups. Yeah, your, your, your customers and prospects must be able to find your opt-in form easily on your homepage, right? You know what? We've, we've, we, uh, we, we did a show about Pippity mm-hmm. when we, when we did that. So that was I probably, like saying, Pippity. I know it was probably about a month ago. I, I think that we put up yep. that big, nasty pop-up div that, you know, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. bothers everybody. Right. 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 We've had about, uh, 60,000 visits to the site. One complaint. Really? Hmm. Now, now we're averaging about uh, one to three subscribers a day. Now that we've got that up there, there. you go. See, it's because the complainers are just leaving. <laughs> <laughs> no, our our stats are good. Uh, uh, so it's it's something to keep in mind that it, it's it's people people understand that they're they are willing to trade their email mm-hmm. address as long as it's going to be of value to them. I d- so yep. okay, as long as you have some good information. That's that's. And uh, they, they you know though also their 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 empowerment is that they want to have and they want to be fed good information right. as well. So, uh, point number one: just don't stop at one submission or one area that you take your sign up. Um, add more opt-in forms throughout the site in various places, like above the fold, right? Below the fold, in the right rail, on in the left-hand navigation. Now, don't do it all at once. It looks kind of crazy. But you can actually test out and see which is most effective to actually get new leads coming in for your email list. Oh, you could use that optimizely, right? Mm-hmm. Use that. Absolutely. I heard they went through a seed, uh, seed funding. Did they? Yep. Awesome. Found some ADD in there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on back, John. Uh, number three, collect email opt-ins in your physical stores. Ask your customers to opt in for email. I at get your... so annoyed by that. Well, there's a tip I'm here. Sorry. It's all right. Well, there's you know at the checkout counter requesting email, so, but you want to make sure that you bind it with some sort of a, 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 a coupon or some sort of benefit for them to actually join. Just don't bang them over the head with with. Uh, uh, email opt-in requests. A couple of things that you want to do, make sure you do, though, whenever if you are collecting at, at the store, um, you know, you have to have a procedure to be able to filter out phony addresses because people are going to give you phony addresses if if you're hitting them upside the head with that. On top of that, mistakes. If if somebody types in or or, or, or puts in a, a wrong email, right, uh, or or you just can't read it. You need to have some procedures to be able to handle that type of error correction. And those things are like. Uh, Letting them type in the email into a POS system or something like that. Give them an order or benefit for signing up in the store so they're more apt to give you some accurate information. Things like that. Number four, make it mobile. Consumer adoption of mobile sites and apps make mobile another more important collection point for opt-in both on email as well as SMS text, don't you know? Uh, and five, remember your social networks. Give Facebook followers a simple opt-in form as well as all the other social network areas itself.